a hammered silver coin. Yes, yes. All right, let's keep going. It's day four on my trip, but day two on digging. We're out here today in a stubble field, and uh, we got Bethany from Alaska over here, Nugget Noggins out there, Jeremy from Alaska's down there, Scott's back at the apartment sick, and here's Pete. Say hello, Pete. There's Pete. We're in this stubble field here, and then behind the hedge road, we have another field that we're going to hit later on today. And so this field hasn't been hunted that much, what our tour guide said, Chris, and uh, only a couple of people, but uh, this is where some Roman coins have been found, some uh, some hammered coins. So hopefully, hopefully that's what we're gonna be on to today. So let's quit talking, let's get out there, and let's have some fun. Let's go. Well, I got my first find out here in the field. I've been out about 10 minutes now, and uh, it looks like it's going to be a, a flat button. Still has the shank on it. It's gonna be a nice one. Looks like one time they had silver wash on it. All right, that's a good start. We'll keep on going. I just got a 23 and I, I couldn't pinpoint it. It's just hitting on one side of my detector on my coil and it was stuck it straight up and down on the sidewall. Check this out, it just fell. It was stuck right here. Look at this. Oh, that is thin <laughs> and that is old and it's a button. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's gonna be a button big dandy button check that out how that's old too check that out shank is broken on it all right that's my second button that's a big one there i wish that was a coin but i'll take it let's keep digging well it's getting a nine or ten that's indicative of a flat button out here so i just got another one it's right there another flat button silver wash on it like that other one it's got a good shank on it just like that other one uh oh can't hold on to it all right we'll keep going 
Well, so far, got a good solid 11. It looks like it's going to be a flat button kind of day. I got another very old flat button right there in the clod. This is going to be no design. Shank is broken on it. It's a little convex on it. It's a nice button. But I'm looking for that Roman coin going for being hammered today. Preacher digger getting hammered. That's well, another solid 11 on the Equinox. It's going to be another flat button. Shank is still on there. It's in the mud. It's been over. It's going to be a flat button kind of day. Looking for that elusive Roman hammered coin. Let's keep going for it. Well, I got something different than a flat button, but I've got another bee. I got a buckle. I have no clue how old that is. Looks old. But I'll take something different than a flat button. Got a button, buckles. Now let's get a coin. How about that? Let's do it. I'm going to live dig this one. Solid 21 22. How about that? Not very deep either. Let's uh let's just kind of see if we can live dig this. Hopefully it's gonna be something good. Alright, it's out of the hole. It's gonna be right right here. And that is going to be a ring how about that my first ring in England check that out let's see if I can it's packed in there check that out that's a ring that's a chunky monkey yeah can you go ahead and punch it out when I film you it's kind of hard in there isn't it That's a nice ring. That's a big chunky bronze ring. Yeah. What date do you think that might be? It's hard to say. But, um... <laughs> oh, got my first ring in England. There might be some design on it, so just let it try and dry it. Dry yeah, it I'll let that dry out. That's a chunky one too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, ringing up really good. <laughs> Re really good. Excellent. And we live dug that one too. How about that? Live dig right there. I'm gonna get a picture of this thing on the ground. You can tell it's a ring because it's it feels nice. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a ring. Let me get my other camera and get a close up. Yeah, check that out. That's got that's got weight to it, too. I'm gonna let it dry out, see if we can get some definition off of it or any hallmarks on the inside. That's nice. I like that. Yeah, my first ring in England. I moved on to, away from the hedgerow and came down here toward these houses. And I've got something right here. It's ringing up at 18 and 19. And I don't know if it's going to be a... It's going to be a flat button. It may have some design on it. I have to clean it up and... See if there's any type of design on this one. Feels like there is, but I can't tell. All right, we'll keep on going. Looking for that elusive coin. I've got, it was ringing up at 18. It's flat, it's small. Check that out, it is silver. It's got writing on it. That, that is gonna be a hammered. That has got to be a hammered. Let me get my other camera and get a close up. There it is, folks. I haven't cleaned it up yet. Wow. Let me clean this up and I'll get a close up and see what's on this thing. I'm, I'm curious myself. Well, it's time to break out the holy water. This is it, folks. I've been praying all day so far for this. Check that out. That is a hammered silver coin. And not only is it hammered, it's holed as well. That's one side of it. It's got some fancy shield and number two up there. 
flip this over. Look at that. Let me clean it off a little bit. Look at that. Definitely hammered. Definitely silver. Look how thin it is. Hold on. Check that out. Oh my goodness, I have no clue what this is. I have no idea whatsoever. Don't know how old this is. It's definitely, I don't think it's going to be Roman. Definitely going to be medieval. Wow. And Chris just left. I have to wait and see what he gets, gets back, see what this is. This is unbelievable. I decided to come right up here on this little high, high ridge. You can't tell on the camera. A little high ridge right here, and I was going to work this little ridge out. All right, look at that. Let me get some close-ups on the pictures, man. This is awesome. That's what I came out here for today. He told us there's going to be some hammered out here. I'm just curious on how old it's going to be. All right, let's keep looking. Like a shield that way. Oh, I like them shields. It's got a cross in the shield too. And I like those crosses too. It's Preacher Digger. Silver coin. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's keep going. Well, I got a, I think a flat button here. Just right there in the side wall. Definitely going to be a flat button. Ringing up like a 11. No, no design on it. All right, let's keep going. It's uh, lunchtime and it's starting to rain. Well, I didn't get this one uh, digging, but I just dug it up. It's some type of tag. I'm not sure. But it's definitely a tag. It's got some uh, cut corners on it there. And so, I don't know. We'll hang on to it. I'll ask Chris what this is. We moved on from that other field. We cut across the street, came up a little bit. We're over here. Nuggets right over there. Pete's over there. The Alaskan folks are down there in that little hole. And I just got a 28 and uh, just uncovered it. And I see it's right there. What is this going to be? It's going to be definitely going to be a coin. Yeah, look at that. That's going to be a KG2. Let me get my other camera and uh, let me clean it up a little bit and see what we come up with. Yeah, I believe it's going to be a KG2. It's looking to the left. I'm not sure. We flip it over and uh, there is Britannia. The date should be right down here. I can't really get a date off of it. And so it's 17 something. I'll see if I can't clean it up and get a date in the wrap up. All right. Let's keep going. Well, I just got an 18 to a 19. It has been, that's what my uh, hammered silver rang up, but it's also been this uh, little cow tube thing that they give cows out here. I don't know what it is, but this is going to be either a button or a coin. Check it out. I just, uh, just popped it out right there in the plug. It's pretty thin. I don't know if it's going to be a button. Let's see. Flip it over. It's going to be a button. It's going to be a flat button. Yeah, got the shank on it. Smooth top. All right, let's keep going. Well, I was getting another 10 to 11, and uh, it's going to be another flat button. It's different. This is a concave. It's got the full shank on it, but it's a concave button. I don't see any, any design on it. All right, let's keep going. We're looking for that hammered. I got another 11 to 12. It's going to be a flat button. I just uncovered it right there in the side wall. And it's going to have a broken shank on it. Looks like it's a tomback. I think it's a tomback. Yeah, I think so. It's broken. No design. All right, we'll keep going. Well got a 2223 and it's right here I was missing it and I was digging down here but it's right here in the sidewall but it's throwing me off because it was bent it definitely is a coin and most likely it's gonna be a kg2 half penny I'll have to clean it up a little bit I can see a little bust on it right there I don't know which way uh, 
I'll clean it up a little bit later on. It's raining out here right now and I really don't have time to clean these out here in the field. But yeah, I think it's a KG2, uh, mid 1700s. Just been plowed up with the, hit with the plow good. All right, let's keep going. It may not be, it may be a KG2, but it's a different variety. You can see the bust there to the left, and that would be KG2. But when you flip it over, look at this. See the crown on the top? It's not Britannia. Usually there's a Britannia on the back. This is something different. And I don't see a date. I don't know if the date's on the front or on the back. But, uh, let's see. Bus goes that way. Yeah, there he is. Or she. He could be a she. I don't know which one this is. This could be a, a King William III, too. No? It's got a crown. It doesn't have Britannia. So I don't know what this is. I have to ask Chris. That's a poor man's love token. Poor man's love token. A yeah. KG2 love yeah, token. So you've got K KG2. It's, there's George facing to the, to the left there. And on the back, you spotted that it got a crown on the back there. Yeah. Well, that crown indicate is actually sat on top of a, an Irish harp. It's an and Irish herbernia. And, that, and that's an Irish Hibernian halfpenny. Oh, right. So that's around mid 1750s. The beauty of that is that um, it's got, it has a little story to it that somebody's passed it to a loved one or somebody that they liked, wanted to go on a date with. And, and that's almost like a little proposal. Would you go out on a date or have this dance with me? Oh, and wow. I thought it was just hit by the plow. And it's so personal to somebody's making a, a gesture to somebody else. That is it's so cool. Thing. And also, the other story with this is. That you might have heard the um, the poem. There was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile, who found a crooked sixpence by a crooked style. That's the, uh, a poor man's version That's of that the crooked, poor, oh. si crooked sixpence. That's a good find, then, isn't it? So, in some ways, it's a lot nicer than finding like a gold one or a silver one, right. <laughs> because it means somebody who had no money was prepared to give up that money right. to make that gesture. So, yeah, very personal, lovely find. That nice. is awesome, man. That is awesome. Thank you. Well, there you go. King George III, King George II love token. How about that? I'll take Sweet. it any day. Sweet. Let's keep on going. It's getting a 2324, but kind of a mixed up signal. Now that I got exposed, it looks like a good coin. But I want you to show you, I want to show you something. Look what was in the hole with it. Here's the coin right here. And that was in the hole. That's why this mine lab is an awesome machine. And it can pick out this iron masking. These things were in the hole together. It has a big old square nail and a big old coin. And it's green. Maybe it's a Vicky here. Maybe this is a Queen Victoria. Let's, uh, let me get my other camera. We'll clean it up and see what it is. I'm not certain what I have here. It's in great shape. I thought it may be a Queen Victoria, or late 1800s, early 1900s, but it's not. This uh, has a guy with a wreath on his head. This may be King George III, is what this is. And there's Britannia. I can't get a date off the bottom of it. And, uh... But yeah, look what it was in the ground with, right there, that big old nail. All right, I'll take that. I'll have to ask Chris what that is. I'm not certain on my English coins, but it's in good shape. Looks like King George III, myself, what I think it is. All right, let's keep going. This, uh, Chris is over here now, uh, out in the field with us, and this was a King George III halfpenny. Yeah. What what date do you think that's going to be? Um, those those the later ones with the small head. So yeah. If you look on the back there, he's got the, the oh that's Britannia side with the small head, uh, just there. And those are around 1792 to uh, around about 1816. 17. I would say 18, that's 16. more likely to be 1806 to 1816. Looking at it. Well, I just found a surface find. I think it's a coin. Check that out. It's not a button. It's eating up a little bit. Let me get you a close-up with my other camera. It's got some definition on it, some writing. I mean, it's pretty toasty. It's pretty thin. So you can see it's got something on it right there. I just don't know what that's going to be. Got a reeded edge on the very top. I'll get Chris over here and get him to see what he says. Comes Chris. We'll ask him. It looks like a coin. Looks like a hammered copper, but I don't know.
It's eating up pretty good. Yeah. That's good. Hmm. You have to let it dry out a little bit. I'll bring you the wax and um, just let it dry out a little bit. Could be. They are about, it's about the right size for a hammered copper, and it's usually a farthing or a half penny token. Yeah. All right, day two digging is uh, is in the books and had another great day today. Um, here's all my finds here. Got some type of uh, uh, nameplate or uh, some type of plate off a bridle. Got some little doodads here. I'm not really sure what they are. Got a buckle. And uh, this is a ring that goes on like, um, it's not a ring on a finger, but it goes on like on clothing. Some little, little acorn furniture decoration i got a part of an old buckle and a nice little square nail it was a day of digging buttons today i got one two four six eight nine ten got one big dandy a couple of tombacks and the uh, rest of them are uh, that's a con convex and uh, concave two different styles there nothing on them just uh, just plain flat buttons and uh, that one rang up really good Got a couple of, uh, oh yeah, I got this. I got a nice, heavy, chunky brass ring. Haven't even cleaned it up yet to see if there's any markings. I'm fixing to go do that here in a few minutes. I should have done it, I guess, for the video. But I have a King George III, and that's going to go from about 1695 to 1816, I think. I have a King George II, uh, which I think is around 16, I mean 1750s, mid-1700s. This, when I got, y'all saw the story in the video, I thought it was just a bent coin from hitting the, on the plow, out in the plowed field. We're in a stubble field, a straw field. But it ends up being a uh, a love token. It's a Hibernia Irish half penny. There's the harp and the crown. And you flip it over, and there's King George II. Facing the left there, this is going to be the mid-1700s, but it's a love token. It's a poor man's token. It's made out of copper. Uh, did get two hammered copper coins. No definition off of them or no writing or anything. They're going to date back into the 1600s or a little bit earlier, I believe. But this here is the find of the day. That is Oliver Cromwell. That's the time period that he was... Raining in. This is a, 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 I forgot what he called this, but it's a hammered silver, great definition, shield with a cross in it, and a shield, another shield with something in it. It's hold, somebody wore it. Number two, this is a, a, a Commonwealth coin when they didn't even have a king in England. Oliver Cromwell was kind of the leader, I guess, at that time. And you can see on the back, it's got the shield with the cross in it, with a little feather on the side this is going to go from 1640 to 1660 and um, you saw in the video what it was called i can't remember what it is but that is the hammered silver it rang up really nice and uh, so there are the finds pretty good day and we're going out tomorrow uh, going into Wales and up on some new territory. So hopefully we're going to get onto some hammered Roman coins or even a gold coin. Well, there are my finds for today. Had a good day yesterday, a great day today. Looking for another great day tomorrow. Still got eight days to go. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Until we see me, each other again, I uh, just want to wish everybody a happy hunting and God bless. <music>